I am back today to do a book review. I recently, um, about a week ago, finished reading Jodi Picoult's new book. I am not a huge, like, I don't read everything Jodi Picoult has read. I know a lot of people are super into her. I'm sure there'll be actually a lot of reviews on YouTube of this book. Um, I've only read a few of her books and they just felt too similar. Um, but for some reason I was just really attracted to this book. It's brand, I think it's like brand brand new. It's like within the last month or two. Um, and it is called, let me get the library glare off, it's called Small Great Things, um, which is a reference to a Martin Luther King speech. It's like a little bit of, of a play on it. It's not exact direct quote, but it was a pretty cover. I really liked this. I thought this was a cool cover. Um, so the basic story is it's told in three perspectives and I love multi-perspective. I know a lot of people um, don't love it. I think most of her books are told in multiple perspectives and you have the main, who I think is like the main main character is Ruth. Um, she's a black nurse. I believe she's in her 40s. It's current time. <clears throat> and uh, then the second perspective is who will eventually become her lawyer. Um, her name is Kennedy. She's just like a white, I want to say she's in her 30s. I'm not really sure if they specified that. She's a white woman living in kind of the same area as Ruth is. They live in kind of a predominantly white area. And then um, the last perspective is from a man who, um, what is his name? I can't think of what his name is right now. Um, he is a white supremacist. And so that kind of is interesting. I feel like there's not a lot of talk about that kind of extreme racism in our current times. Um, I mean, we have extreme racism, and I know we talk about Black Lives Matter and stuff, but I feel like we don't talk specifically. I'm trying to remember what his name is, and I can't stink in... Oh, I found it. Turk. Turk is his name. Um, that was bugging me. Um, I feel like we do talk about racism... Um, we just don't talk about it from the white supremacist point of view, which is uncomfortable. Um, I felt it was uncomfortable. So basically the story, um, I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but you do know this, um, going into it that Ruth is a nurse. She's a labor and delivery nurse. She goes in to do kind of a routine after, you know, after a baby has been born, um, they do like a little checkup or whatever and she notices that the parents are acting very odd and I think she believes it's a an abusive situation but um, she comes to find out that they are white supremacists and they do not want her to touch her baby their baby um, so she gets taken off the case she's obviously very offended um, and upset about it and it says no African-American personnel can touch this baby and that's what's in the file and we come to learn that she's the only African-American person working there and um, throughout this novel she starts to realize like how white her world is and she feels like before she felt like it didn't matter it didn't matter because I blend in and I you know whatever and she starts to see that when she's kind of going through bad times that maybe she's people do see her as different I guess um, I so so and so what ends up happening is that the baby has um, medical distress. Ruth is the only person in proximity to this baby. Um, and she kind of pauses and thinks, like, what do I do? Do I touch the baby? Do I figure out, like, do I try to save him? Do I not? And so there's that hesitation, and that's where the trial comes in. I don't want to say anything too much, but um, the outcome of that, her hesitation and all of that, is the reason why she needs a lawyer. Um, I just thought it was really interesting. I think that this book comes at a really appropriate time. I think some people will probably think that Jodi Picoult is playing on that, but I I felt that she did a good job. But again, I am white. I'm not a person of color. Um, and I live in an area that is mostly white. I mean, we have a large university here, so there's quite a, there's quite a bit of diversity. But generally speaking, the majority of the people that I interact with every day are white, so I have a very different perspective than Ruth will, and I would be interesting to interested to hear other people's perspective, but I thought that Jodi Picoult did a good job. I loved that she pointed out kind of everyday random racism that 
you know, they pose a question at one point to one of the, to just a random character and it says like, okay, well, if there was a, you know, if you got on the bus and there was a black woman sitting here and a white woman sitting here, which one would you choose? Um, and I think you could pose that question to anybody, not just white people. I think you could pose that to anybody and, you know, you kind of start pulling those weird Id idiosyncrasies that, um, we all kind of have, I guess. Um, my favorite quote was on page 430 and it said we all have biases even if we don't think we do and I think that's really interesting because I think that a lot of people say like I'm not racist like I don't feel like I'm racist but there are probably little biases that I have for all different types of people not just race obviously um one of my very favorite things that she pointed out was the one of the characters Kennedy I believe says I don't notice race and she says that to Ruth and Ruth is like kind of like you know you can tell that she takes it in a negative way and that was so like cringy to me when she said that because I just thought like when you deny that you notice things like that like it's okay to notice that somebody looks different than you it's okay to notice someone has different hair it's okay to notice that someone's handicapped it's okay to notice someone's black or white or male female tall really heavy like it's okay to notice those differences. It's just not okay to like prejudice, be prejudiced against them because of that. Um, and I loved that she pointed that out because it just made me so uncomfortable when she said it. And there is quite a bit of this book, like when you read um, Turk's perspective and he, you know, was talking about hating gay people. Like he doesn't just hate black people, he hates gay people, he hates Jewish people, but he'll explain like, oh, but I hate this kind of person more because of this and so like it's it's uncomfortable to read I think it was uncomfortable but I felt like um it was good I guess to get a different perspective um there was one thing that kind of stuck out to me a few times was I think I think it was twice that a character said something like I don't care if she's black white or polka dotted or I don't care if she's black white or green um and I always think that's such a weird thing that people say because there aren't green people there aren't polka dotted people like I just that was just something that stuck out to me that I just felt like I hear that a lot and I think it's people's way of striking or trying to put some humor into to an uncomfortable subject so they do say that um a couple times um and one of my very favorite things about it is that they talked about equity versus equality I work in um special ed and we talk about that a lot as well like what is equal versus what is fair um and so i i thought that was kind of cool that they touched on that because of course all different types of people would encounter that especially minorities mostly minorities um yeah and so in general like i would totally recommend this i thought it was a great great book i don't want to talk too much about the ending because i don't want to comment on it i guess because um i don't want to give anything away i definitely had feelings about the ending i felt like some of it was a little bit conveniently tied up when you have this like book that you're just like gripping and you're like oh my god it's so good i just wanted to get through it like this whole time when i was reading it i just wanted to get through it so it was a great book in that way um but i thought some of the ending was a bit convenient but the book will make you think um and I just thought it was done really well. I've recommended it to a bunch of people already. I need to take this back to the library because it has been requested by someone else. So I want to get it back before, um, you know, so that people can get on and reading it. So, yeah, I don't know. I felt like this was a hard review because you don't want to say anything that's, like, not PC or that will um, offend anybody. But I think I did okay, I guess. I'm not sure. But this book is really really good and I would be interested to hear all different types of people's perspectives different ages and all of that kind of stuff so hopefully people will leave me some comments um other than that I hope you have a good day and I will talk to you later goodbye <laughs>